Well, today I'm going to try some new paints. These are called sacks. I've never used them before, so we'll see how they go. Um, the orange is pure. The sienna color, what do they call this? Burnt umber, probably. Yep, burnt umber. This is a bronze that I made up separately. It's a mixture of the burnt umber and some bronze. The green I've mixed separately, so it's not the pure one that they gave. And then that's black, and obviously I've got some white in there. Different size cells. I've put armor all in the orange and in the green, and I have got Rain-X, which you can already see it working there, Rain-X in the gold, bronzy color, and in the burnt umber. The black is um, homemade, so that will have a variety of different <laughs> oils in it. So, sorry, don't worry. Um, nothing in the white except I have got um, acrylic gloss in it. And I find this works really well for me. Let's see how it all goes together. Now what I've done is I've put on, as some of you know, what I like to call a floater coat. So it's sort of like just a level, uh, an layer of paint on which the other paint can float. Okay. Wish me luck. Let's start with a little black. A little brown. Burnt umber. Now we want some Oops, we want a colour that will give it a bit of pop, so that's the orange going in, not too much. Some white. A little bit more pop, green. And then the gold. And let's see how we do. I'm going to turn down that green a bit because it looked like it got far too much at the end there. So let's see how this works. Now we move it.
curious part about this is that you don't want too much paint on it, but on the other hand, the more you move the paint, the more risky it becomes. Blow dryer, see what that does for it. It's actually a heat gun. So now you will see that the different sorts of oils in there, the silicone from the loop, um, Armorol, I say oils, and the different silicone from Rainex, they make different sized cells, which is what I love. So every painting ends up being very original because you never quite know what it's going to do. I think this is a bit too dark here, so I'm going to play a bit, which is always dangerous, but it's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use a little bit of the runoff paint, maybe a bit of extra white in it. You see I've added the white in there. Let's see what happens if we add this. It just looks a little too dark for my liking. And because that's a completely different colour combination, I'm just adding it in somewhere else so it looks like it's intentional. Now I'm taking a straw
I'm just taking the colour and just making sure that the edges are covered. The paint will roll down the side slightly, but I find a little bit too much is better than not enough. Okay, I'm going to try and turn this around. Wish me luck. I wanted to just see how the edges are doing. Now, because the paint might get contaminated on the brush, I'm taking just a little bit of white paint separately. I'm not using my full. Okay. You can see there's still quite a bit of paint on there. Now the reason I'm getting rid of some of this excess paint is because I don't want it to crack. And also, it normally ends up making really neat designs. So, 
cups. Helps if you don't hit the camera too many times. And now we're going to hit it with a bit more of the Rain-X because it just adds that much more definition. Hope you've all got a name for this. Okay, and now we pray to the drying gods. I'm just looking for where the white paint looks a bit thin and I'm just adding a bit more I will change the shape a little bit but quite honestly from experience better to have a little bit too much and change the shape, they're not enough. Okay. 
and I'm going to put some clean bits underneath it because I notice that the things that it's resting on have got some paint on now so we'll give them some clean bits. For those of you who don't know, maybe watching for the first time, the reason that I say that is all too often what looks really good when it's wet ends up not looking so good when it's dry. I like to just save as much of the paint as I can and I will use this on another piece of art. See how beautiful that will be. So I'm just going to take some paper, put it down, Thank you. 